from Southwest Florida's news leader. This is Wink News, now at 5. Two years ago, the Florida Stingrays indoor football team folded because of a lack of ownership and support. Now one man is trying to bring them back but needs your help. Dario Melendez explains. It's every grown child's dream to own a football team. Why not do it for real? Jason Lawrence and the Florida Stingrays want another shot at being Southwest Florida's indoor professional football team for the 2011 season after the team folded just a few years ago. It was an expansion team and a lot of companies just, you know, really weren't ready to uh, put a lot of money behind it. Jay wanted to make sure that the Stingrays would be able to sustain as a professional football team here in Southwest Florida, but he knew the only way that was possible was to get the local community involved in the franchise. So Jay turned his sights to an NFL team that you can say does pretty well in ticket sales. I saw a show on TV about the Green Bay Packers and about how they're owned by their city. I started doing some research on the internet, I found out that there's only about 250,000 people in the vicinity of Green Bay, but they sell out an 85,000 seat stadium every game and they're sold out for the next 20 years. Uh, for us, we got about a 7,000 seat stadium and we've got about a million people to draw from. Here's the Stingrays game plan. The team will be split up into 20,000 shares. Hands Up Charity will be the majority owner owning just over 10,000. The other 9,800 shares are for the local community. Jay wants the Stingrays to truly be Southwest Florida's team, so he's offering ownership opportunities to any individual or business that ever dreamed of owning a professional football team. Each share costs $100, and Jay urges owners to buy a season ticket for just $50 more. So my heart is for the Southwest Florida community, and, and, and I want it to be a community team, not just you know one owner that's trying to do it all on his own. You know, we've had two teams here, and neither of them have lasted, and both of them have been handled that way. Why not try it a new way, different way? With the Stingrays, Dario Melendez, Wink Sports, now. Now, if you're interested in becoming an owner of the Florida Stingrays, there will be a future owners meeting next Friday, February 5th, at Foster's Grill on Pine Island. That's at 3 o'clock. You can visit winknews.com for more information. I think you said it best. It's what every grown child wants. <laughs>